Morning folks, uh, I hope you're okay. Um, if you've not been here before, my name's Kim. Um, I live in the East Midlands of the UK. Uh, two kids, a husband, and sort of two cats, I'll get to that. Um, but yes, I crochet mainly amigurumi, and I've got some finished things to show you, and some yarn that I bought that I've been waiting for for a few weeks. So. I thought, well, like, everything's here. I will try and film. I've got a few uh, minutes before I start work, so hopefully I can get through it all. Um, so let me start and show you the baby blanket I, ma I was making for my former next door neighbour. They've moved now, um, and she's had the baby, but he's in the hospital still. So I've not been to see her because I don't want to, you know, overwork. You know, she's going off, going on. She doesn't, you know. So. This was made using Lolly's, um, Lolly's little wool shack um, cakes. I can't remember what the shade was. If I can find it, I'll put it in the, uh, the notes on my blog, which is linked below. Um, and this is the seashell stripe blanket by um, Lucy of Attic24, and I adore it. So it's three, four foot wide, maybe. Um, it's, it's three cakes, and I just went as far as the cakes went. Uh, I haven't edged the side because it's pretty good, uh, the pattern makes a pretty straight edge, which is nice. So it's all washed and ready to go, I'm just obviously waiting until you know, things are a little bit calmer with baby. Um, and then Ange put a video up, hi Ange, of yarn and yarns, should be linked below, um, or oh, in my blog, website. Um, asked me if I could make a dinosaur, which I've got a video clip of, so I'll pop that in here. Hi folks, uh, I'm just quickly popping in to show you something before I pass it up to send it off. So, let me show you this. This is about to be posted off to a friend. Um, this is another Timothy. Um, I got asked if I could make this. Um, so I did, I'm, I'm going to get it off in the post hopefully, or with Hermes or whatever, hopefully later on. Um, I'm just waiting, I'll finish work um, half an hour ago um, and I've just done cleaning litter trays and putting bins out and exciting things like that. Um, but um, yeah, Jack's at a friend's house and they're dropping him off. At some point soon, hope, I think. Uh, so I'm going to get this parcelled up, get a label printed, um, and then once he's back, I'll go and drop this off. Whoops, uh, probably at the Hermes drop-off point. Um, but this is Timothy the T-Rex. I think it is it Blue Phone Designs, Blue Phone Studios. I've made quite a few of these, and I'll link the pattern down below. I'll see if I can find it not on Ravelry as well, so that you've got if you don't use Ravelry. So Ange has received um, Timothy, or whatever his name will, will end up being. Um, thank you for the kind words, Ange, was very kind. Uh, she's, she's talked about him in her latest video, and I sent her a present as well. Um, and while I'd got yarn out making that Timothy, I decided to make this Timothy. Now he's made using Red Heart, um, and... Um, He's a bit bigger, we were sort of looking at orange for the dinosaur that Ange wanted. Um, so probably not the right colour, it's like a goldy colour, maybe a bit too light. Um, but my red heart supply is dwindling and you can't buy it over here now. So I'm sort of working with what I've got and I appear to have used all my orange, which is sad. But anyway, so this is slightly bigger than the one that went to Ange uh, because it's red heart. Um, but yeah, it's cute. And I love this pattern. This is by Blue Phone Studio Designs. I've made lots of these. Um, and they're always really lovely. And I love the colour changes. They're very neat, even for a lefty. So I highly recommend that pattern. Um, and then I'm doing a craft fair. I'm trying to remember. Um, because it keeps getting moved around. <laughs> uh, is it the 4th of December? No, it was the 27th of November. And now I think it's 4th of... 4th of December, where's my work calendar? Yeah, I've got one on Saturday the 4th of December and then one on Friday the 10th of December, which is after school instead of on a Saturday. And it's after school and it's outside. So I'm not imagining it's gonna be great. 
in, you know, the turnout rather than it being inside and people are warm and can mill about, it's going to be outside in December. So, but we'll see. Um, anyway, so with that in mind, I've made some Elks. Now, this was a pattern from Simply Crochet, I think. I will link it below. I had it on, I, I bought the subscription to the magazine for like three months just to get this pattern. And one of them's gone missing. I made five and there's four. I don't know. One's, he's on the floor. Hang on, let me get him. Oh no, no, another one's on the floor. Oh, it's carnage. I need to get my hair cut, but I can't be to go. <laughs> so yes, I have five and I've embroidered little stars on their hats. They're very cute, but making five in what, you know, in a production line. It wasn't fun. And then I went and did it again with the next thing to show you. So I'll link to this magazine below. I can't see that it's been released as a single pattern, um, but I'll do some digging if I can find that, I'll let you know. I made a little octopus because I like making them. Um, and I used some eyes that I bought uh, from Amazon. I think I put them too low down. So a little like cute kawaii eyes. I think they're too low down. I had to make him a mini octopus because this was the last of my black light uh, red hot super saver. <laughs> so I had to downsize him. As I was doing it, I realised I wasn't going to have enough. I was like ripping him out <laughs> to get back to um, a size I could actually finish him. So I don't like making things in a conveyor belt, I found out. So what did I do? I made I made six of these. Jack's got one, because it went a bit wrong. But this is Ben the Bear, and I was a pattern tester for All by Jade, All from Jade. Why can't I remember that? It will be below. Um, and look how cute he is. He's got a little bee on his hand, and then a little blanket. Ooh, so cute. Um, and the she asks in the pattern for you to do the yarn under method. So it gives him really neat stitches, I think. It's beautiful and then I started making another one and I messed it up I was doing a yarn under when you would yarn over I was doing a yarn under but then when you yarn over again to pull through I was yarning under and it made it far too tight but Jack loves him so Jack's guy there's my first one then I made another one then another one then I made another one look how cute he is and then <laughs> I made another one so I'd got heads and ears and arms everywhere. I was, I've printed the pattern because obviously I was testing it. So it was in my bag to go swimming and it just seemed to take forever. Because you were like, the, the arms, uh, you work them into the body, which is fab, no sewing. Um, but then obviously, uh, tails, Tails, bees, blankets, just, I was getting nowhere with it. Cheeks, I was just, I don't know, too many at once. But they're beautiful. I've, so I've got, I've got four for the fair because my hairdresser has nabbed one already. Or, or put her name down for one already. So he's going to go to her. Um, and then I need to really get in the, into my shed and check what else I've got and see what I need to make, because I've got less than a month now, so I've got really itchy nose every time I film. Really itchy nose. And then I bought some yarn from Lollies, um, who are closing, sort of closing down. I don't know whether the bricks and mortar shop will stay open, but I know she's had some things go on in her, you know, in her personal life that, you know, are not great. So, um, I wish her all the best. Um, but she was having a, there was a mystery bundle of a uh, thousand grams of I think it was called the best stock bundle or something. So, you know, I'll help out. And it came yesterday. So, I don't know. l and Boutique Samples, 100% premium acrylic. Looks like chunky green tones. Looks like the Red Heart, um, you know, Magic Baby, those sort of colours. So that's 100 grams. And then this one, Manicolic, I don't know, Naco, Naco, yeah. And it says it's 100% acrylic. It is so soft, but it's thin. So, 100 grams, 1,220 meters. 
So lots of this, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's beautifully soft for acrylic. Well, I know acrylic can be soft, but that's like buttery soft. Very nice. Then uh, some Eyelul print. These funky colours, that's a, another chunky sort of thicky yarn. Don't know, make cute toys. I think that says it's say yeah 100% acrylic 250 meters um, another eye long I think this is, is this one's got wool in it yeah 20% acrylic 80% uh, acrylic 20% wool I'm sure I've had one like this before I can't remember what I used it for I think it's the blanket the cats have got on top of the cupboard but it was thicker than this so it's nice I don't know what I'll do with it I, I didn't buy it with you know the intention of doing anything with it I was just like oh pretty Let's buy stuff. Bravo Simli Zinkia. This is, I don't know, 95% acrylic, 5% polyester. So just the sparkles in it. It's not next to skin. Not for me anyway. I think the shiny sparkles would irritate me, but I don't know. I'll figure something out. It will go in the, in the shed. Uh, and then some old fashioned, good old fashioned DK, which is 100% acrylic in this really nice deep purpley colour. DK always gets used. And then this is the label came off, but I don't think the label has, just says 100% synthetic. So it's like black and reddy orange with white neppy bits. It's quite, I suppose it would just about be a DK. It's, Fairly thin. Again, no idea. No idea. And then the last one, I, no, it's not the last one. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Jack just tried to run off with the ball and love it forever. <coughs> so I might see if I can make him a little neck warmer or something with it. Or just a little blanket, I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll love that anyway. Excuse me, just needed a drink. Um, and then one more. I don't know what this stuff is. It's all twisty and... I don't know. 100% synthetic. The bowl's seen better days. I don't know. Maybe it'd be an interesting... Amigurumi or something. I've got to make a cat for a friend. And I'm struggling with the yarn to use. Because she's obviously interested in sort of patterns. Um, but yeah. Um... I'm struggling, I've started it, but I've put it to one side and I'll get to that in a minute. But then I bought five of these rainbow cakes. Uh, rainbow cake? I don't know if it says the shade on here. It was like the only shade they had left. And this, this is made out of these sort of cakes. And I think the yarn's lovely. And you get 540 meters and it's 150 gram cake. So I have five of them. I like this colour. I, I generally like all of the cakes and stuff, but I've sort of held off buying this because I've always gone for blues or, you know, something specific in mind. Um, yeah, so that's my yarn. Um, and then I've got to start working in a minute, so I will wrap up. Um, Mortimer, Mortimer Cat, has gone missing. Um, he was missing a uh, fortnight yesterday. I've been missing two whole weeks. Um, I've got posters everywhere. I've notified the company that supplied his microchip, so he's marked as missing. If he gets taken to the vets or anything, we'll get notified. Um, I've got we we're doing mail drops and posters. I've got posters all around the estate, and it's all over Facebook and. We're doing everything we can and sort of trying to cling to the hope that as he hasn't been handed in anyway yet or, or anything that maybe he's not injured uh, or worse um that maybe he's in you know he's in someone's house or something um but i don't know i'm devastated um because he was my little kitty you know he sat with me every day while i worked and was always on my knee so um yeah, I'm a little bit um, upset, everyone is, in the house really. I mean, Pickle is, is I don't know, he's not really eating very well. Um, he's getting lots of treats though. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, and we're playing with him, make sure he's, you know, he's got time with us and, and gets to play and stuff, because obviously he played with Morty. Um, so yeah, we'll just, there's nothing we can do but wait, we're just doing, you know, everything that has been recommended to do and everything we can think of, you know, walking around the estate with a bag of treats, shouting like a mad woman. Um, so I will keep you posted, obviously. Um, that's another reason this video is late because I've just felt very listless and upset <laughs> quite a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. But I'll let you know if anything, you know, changes either way. Uh, you know, if we find out it's bad news or he turns up, the, the worst bit is just not knowing. Um, it's very uh, frustrating to, to try and, you know, Keep up hope, you know, keep hoping and keeping Jack happy. Jack's very upset. Tobin was a bit upset yesterday. Um, Paul's not really showing it, but he is, he is upset yeah. in in a grown up man way because oh, yeah. that's a whole other thing, isn't it? But yes, so we'll see. But I'll let you know. Um, I'm going to get off now because I need to go and do some work and drink my tea put all this stuff away. This can go in the shed now, I've shown you though. So I'm, I'm building up a corner in the, in the conservatory that I keep getting told off about because, you know, it's expanding. I'm like, it's craft fair season! <laughs> there has to be stuff everywhere! Um, so yes, I can, I can clear some space and decide what I'm making next. And I'll probably, yeah, you know, try and just make one of whatever that thing is. So I don't get into the uh, conveyor belt madness <laughs> that I've been in for who knows how long. Anyway, thank you for spending some time with me. Sorry I've not been around and not been posting on my Facebook page or anything like that. Just just been in a bit of a... a bit of a funk. But I will we'll be back. Um, and I'll, I'll show you some more of the stuff I make. And yeah. So I hope you're all safe. Uh, stay safe and well. Um, if you're doing craft fair, are you starting to think it's getting a bit close? Um, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye guys.